Welcome to our exciting design challenge. Today, we're diving into Newton's third law of motion and how it applies to collisions. Are you ready to minimize impact forces and engineer a solution? Let's get started. In this lesson, we'll focus on using Newton's third law to design a solution for motion problems involving two colliding objects. This law states that, for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Let's define some key vocabulary. A design challenge is a problem-solving activity that requires creativity and engineering. Force is a push or pull on an object. Action-reaction pair is the forces two objects exert on each other. Impact force is the force that occurs when two objects collide. Reducing impact forces is crucial in many real-world situations. Engineers apply these principles to design safer cars, protective sports gear, and even playground equipment. Example number one. Imagine a toy car rolling down a ramp into a wall. If we add a foam bumper, it absorbs some of the impact, reducing the force felt by the car. Simple, right? Example number two. In football, players wear padded gear to reduce impact forces during tackles. The padding acts as a cushion, spreading out the force over a larger area, making collisions safer. Example number three. In automotive safety, Crash test dummies help engineers test car bumpers and crumple zones. By analyzing how impact forces affect the dummy, they can improve car designs to protect passengers during a collision. Today, we've learned how Newton's third law impacts our world. You'll now apply this knowledge by designing a bumper system for a toy car. Remember, your goal is to minimize the impact force during collisions. Here's what you learned. Newton's third law explains action-reaction pairs. Understanding impact forces is key to safety in collisions. Real-world applications include car safety and sports gear.